All right, guys, so real quick before this video gets started, um, this is Monday, but after I filmed this video, I'm sorry I'm just now getting it uploaded. I had a, a book that I had to read and do a report on. It was a 32-chapter book, um, but yeah, like I said, sorry I haven't uh, uploaded this video yet and that you're seeing it now for the first time, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh yeah. Enjoy the video. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So I know I haven't, uh, I didn't upload Monday, no. I did upload Monday. Did I upload Monday? Yes, I uploaded Monday. So I know I didn't upload yesterday and I know I didn't film Monday either. So this is my first day back from the weekend. It, I needed somewhat of a break. So, but uh, yeah, from the way it's looking today. So it's Wednesday, obviously. I'm gonna try to get this up tonight. Um, But uh, the way it's looking, we actually might have apartment ministries today because if we don't have it today, that may, that makes it five weeks that we haven't had it. So we've already gone a full month without having apartment ministries. So, but uh, um, I changed clothes. It's almost 12 o'clock. So resistance training, here I come. Yay. Yay, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I enjoy it, but, you know, it's still class. So. I don't know. What's up, fool? Guess what? What? Take a wild guess. Your mom. <laughs> Whitney, Whitney, you condone this? Uh, sure. <laughs> big facts. Jared, you condone this? Absolutely. Emily? Good. Big facts, bro. Big facts. Man, that hurts. What? That just hurts. What? That hurts. What? <laughs> that just hurts. Hurt. Tell me what you're going to say. Huh? Oh, I was just gonna say you're on the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> How underwhelming. Okay, right. <laughs> Jared. Jared. Well, we got hot shit. No, it's warm. Hey, hey, under, under there is hey, I'm zooming in on your face. Oh, you okay. get my suit. For what? Huh? I'm my cousin's wedding. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, he, doesn't really he just doesn't look at it all the time. Yeah, I keep my eyes on the road. Oh, crap, we started. Yeah, well, duh. Oh. Shoot! <laughs> Caught y'all off guard. That was great. that was great. I did not even know. Wow. Question of the day. Okay, what's the question of the day? Pay Wait, were you there when I asked this at lunch? I think you might have left already. I might have been. Were you if you there? could pick one superhero. Oh no, I was not there because I had be already the left. President of America. Oh snap! Who would you choose? Snap, Batman. That's okay, Mister. <laughs> he, he gives me too much depressing vibes. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a red light. Yeah. Let's say. I almost feel like you have to go Captain America. Hey, man, bro. I mean, it's the most American thing ever. It's in his oh, okay, name. okay, okay, okay. Well, hold on. Wait, are you just talking about any. Or, let me ask you or this. Who would be the best leader? Okay. So here's what I'm saying. Wait, 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 are we talking about DC Comics or Marvel Comics? Oh, any superhero. Any superhero. See, I'm ha see now I'm torn between two. One being Batman and then the other one, and we made a good point, Captain America. That's what I would, yeah, that's what I choose. So I'm torn between those so two. So why would you choose Batman? Because he's my favorite superhero. I mean, why not? Who so you just want your favorite. It's like, I wouldn't want, even though like, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, I yeah. want Spider-Man yeah. to be Well, that's because Spider-Man's a kid. I He's think, literally a kid. Batman would not be a good leader. He's too impulsive. So yeah, like also like Batman yeah. works in like the shadows. Where the yeah, yeah, yeah. You, got, yeah, you have a, with everything. You have a point now. And because look at Bruce Wayne, everybody hated Bruce Wayne, like who he looked like, mm. even though he deep down he was a good person. Well, like, you, you know why he does that. Because his parents got killed in an alleyway at night after they left the opera. Yeah, that was, that was I know the whole backstory of yeah, Batman. Everybody knows what happened to Batman. <laughs> well, excuse me. But no, now that you, now that you actually talk about it, Peyton, 
yeah, Captain Captain America would be the best. Because one is it like a he's a war hero. He's a war hero. And he's two steady he's and Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Yeah. Two, he's a captain. And three, America is in the name. Yeah. <laughs> I just see him as a leader. Yeah. I mean, nice. I mean he is the one he he if you think about it, he is the one that always says Avengers is simple. Mm. Did he always Yes. Yeah. So Okay, so now the debate of Marvel or DC. Oof. Oof. I know Marvel now, so much. Okay. What do, what do I gotta go Marvel. Everything that encompasses it. Not just DC comics, not just Marvel movies. So are we still it. talking about the same subject? No, we're saying like would she like better DC or Marvel? Okay. See, I like I love Marvel, but I love DC even more. Okay. Why? Why is it better? Well, I mean, first off, I sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but so you look at DC, all of these people, like all these heroes, have actual superpowers, except for one, which is Batman. Well, he's not the only one. Well, and no, the green, the green Arrow is just a beast. Who well, will that too. Forever. No, hey, was that what Jesus would do? <laughs> she was trying to get somewhere. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, no, that probably on her phone texting. Anyways, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, uh, wait, you're what? literally on your phone. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm you not even touching. I'm not even touching my phone. You're appearing. Okay, you're, yes, I am. But phone. this is the thing. I have it set up where I can make it look like I'm on it, but I'm not <laughs> on it. Does that make sense? And plus, Emily, since you're in the passenger seat, if I wanted you to stop the video, I could say, Emily, will you please stop the video? Make sense? I know what I, I know. I want to hear doing. Emily's opinion about Marvel vs. DC. I gotta get Marvel, mostly because that's what I'm most familiar with. But also, I feel like there's a lot more hope and redemption in those than there are in DC. DC's dark, bro. Yeah. On everything. Is DC's so dark. It's so violent. And there's a place for that. Like, I'm not saying yeah. I don't enjoy a good DC movie as well, but yeah. I like seeing that there is a light in the Y'all, y'all, so, so I, I'm sorry I'm cutting y'all, but. That no, was fun. You uh, good? I was sitting in philosophy class, and Dr. Metters mentions. Uh, a DC movie and it it talks about like he gives us this hostage situation where like they're in a warehouse strapped to bombs and stuff like that I'm like it's like what's that what, what, what's that movie and I'm like it's the dark night yep. like I sit there I look up from my laptop I look at I look him straight in the eye and say it's the dark night <laughs> and he's like okay then so he starts to me after class he says okay let me ask you something how do you know that I'm like I'm a huge I'm a huge Batman fan I, I know a lot about Batman and I've watched a lot of He's like, oh, what? Have you seen the new Joker? No, I haven't. I want to, though. It's crazy, bro. Oh, okay. I got a question for y'all. Crazy. Hey, all right. Who, this may sound really weird, but who is y'all's favorite uh, uh, supervillain? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't matter. I, it not. doesn't. Actually, I think I would have to go Joker, honestly. I know that's probably a really typical. Okay, now let me ask you this. There have been many, 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 many different Jokers. Heath Ledger, don't even come at it. Like, I'm with everybody you knows. I was going to say, I was going to say the best Joker ever. Number one is Heath Ledger. Number two, Jack Nicholson. No, <laughs> uh, that's horrible. <laughs> you haven't seen the new one yet, so yeah, you don't know. The Phoenix, true, yeah, true. Phoenix Which did the, a fantastic the, the job. first so movie, so funny. Funny thing, the first movie I actually saw actually saw him in was uh, Gladiator. Really? Yes. Did you know that he played in Gladiator? Ah, probably. He, he played he played as the emperor who uh, married. I guess technically married his own sister. Like he. So I'm trying to think. So, uh, 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 I'm trying to remember what his the actor's name is. Crow. Uh, anyways, uh, so his character married the emperor's sister, and then he gets exiled, something like that, sold into exile or something like that. No, not exiled, sold, and and is a gladiator. And uh, his sister was taken back by his his sister 
or let's see, the emperor's sister and nephew was brought back to Rome by the emperor, and then uh, technically the emperor married his own sister. So it, yeah, it's. <laughs> it's it's one of those movies that have a weird backstory. Yeah. Um. But ultimately, ultimately, the emperor gets killed by the gladiator. But the gladiator dies a noble death instead of the emperor. So. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's it's a long movie, but it's a good movie too. Yeah. Russell Crowe. That's what it was. That's Russell Crowe. I, I was. I. I. I it, it just popped in my mind. Is that what you said? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So I was talking like, I wasn't sure. so I wasn't, stupid. No, I wasn't sure. So I like, yeah, I said I, it wrong. Yeah, so. yeah. Like, it came to me. I'm like, you get it. It is Russell Crowe. It's Russell Crowe. <laughs> so, yeah. I thought like this is also like an easy answer, but like, this probably wouldn't be my answer if I had more time to think about it. Like, off the top of my head, like Thanos. Ooh. Like, uh, I, really, I really like Bane, too. I mean, that also is because I just watched it last night, so it is like fresh on my mind still. I mean, Wait, neither one of those would probably be my top two. Did you watch the Dark Knight Rises last night? Yeah. Oh, see, that's the one. That is the one Dark Knight movie I have not seen. Really? I haven't seen the full trilogy. That was the only one I had. I've seen, seen Batman Begins. I've seen the Dark Knight, but I have not seen the Dark Knight Rises. I, that was the first time I watched it last night. Sweet. Man, I, like, so I like. I, I really like Marvel. So. Yeah. I mean, we all have our different opinions. And, like, know? Thanos had, like... The Infinity It was one of those things where it was, like, for a hot minute, you were like, this dude's doing some good stuff. But then you forgot, like, he's a psychopath and wants to kill, like, half of everything, you know? Mm -hmm. But he was, like, very convincing with it all. And he was, like, purposeful. Yeah. He was willing to do whatever it took. And, but, like, I feel like he was just, like, a very strong villain. Makes sense. And Josh Brolin did a fantastic job. For y'all, we're back. We're back on freshman, snapperoo, nice, freshman and sophomore year. Then we went to three A my junior and senior year. All right, got okay. so uh, I had to take a call from a tool. Uh, he called me, wondering where, where, where we were at. <laughs> so, all right, one last. Let's see. Anyway, ask the question because that'd I've be, asked because that'd be a good one. Yeah, because oh, I've asked no. the I've asked the question and Peyton's asked the question. Oh no, that is so much pressure. No, it's like anything. Oh, Ooh, I, like, I like random questions. They really need to come fix this pothole. Guys, this pothole is still here. It's just <laughs> filled with leaves now. <laughs> I'm obsessed about that. Wait, why do they have a tent set up in their yard? They have two tents set up in their yard. What? Okay. Oh, pothole. Mm, okay, this is pretty simple, but favorite Marvel movie? Favorite Marvel? Oh, oh. Galaxy Volume really? 1. Really? Oh, man. What that is a oh. good one. It's not the best, but it's my favorite. But I'm gonna have to go. I really like Iron Man in general, so Big probably. Bags. So I'm gonna, I'm honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be this. honest with you. I'm gonna have to say the original Spider-Man trilogy with Tobey Maguire. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's solid. So like, just I, I saw, I saw uh, the first one when it came out on DVD, and then the other, the second one. I think the other two I saw right when it came out too, so it, it like that. That's just one of those. Tom Holland's better, no cap. Yeah, have you seen Far From Home? I have not. I have not. And see, I want, I want to, I want to see uh, Homecoming and uh, Far From Home, um, because you know, like I had, like I said, I've never seen Tom Holland once. Um, he is fantastic. He so. is good. He plays the role very. Just like well, and also, it, yeah, and so, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, also, if you think about it, throughout the whole comic series of Spider Man, he's still in high school, yeah. And but after, but with Peter Parker, like, he goes from high school, you no, know, he goes from high school to college to working to you know, just all this other stuff. And like, I'm, I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, you know. Toby Maguire did an awesome job as well playing Spider-Man. Tom Holland, I think he's figuring it out along the way, so we see his journey of yeah, of, yeah, yeah, of yeah, seeing him take and use this power. Mm -hmm. So my my like best friend, he's a big Spider-Man fan. So like he knows like the most random stuff about him. Like he <laughs> told me one time, "Did you know that Spider-Man's Jewish?" And there's some, there's some comic Wait, book. What? 
where Spider-Man's getting married and he has like one of the, what's it called, a yarmulke? It's a yarmulke. He has one of those he on his head. What a yarmulke. But also, he said his favorite is Tobey Maguire. <laughs> but he said, he said, I'll give you this. He said, Tobey Maguire is the best Peter Parker. Yes. Andrew Garfield is the best Spider-Man. No. And Tom Holland is the best combination of both. Uh, so saying like see, I don't I I so I've watched Andrew Garfield was great at all the scenes of being Spider-Man, like the action. And then he said that Tom Tom Holland like never got either of them perfect, but he was good at both. And then Toby Maguire cool. was good at being like the awkward like Peter Parker. Yeah. Well see also with Toby Maguire, you know, you think about it. He, it actually went kind of comic booky in where he actually got bit by a radioactive spider. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So Peyton has come up with another question. We're leaving apartment ministries now. What time is it? It is four fifty-two. All right, so it's it's cold. It's very we didn't cold. have very many kids come out, but I understand because they want to be inside yep. in the warm where it's dry. We're so, working it back up. Amen. Just wait. Yeah. Hopefully next week it'll be sunny and warm and I can wear shorts and a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> pray better. big. Pray big. Ain't nothing better. Hey, the Lord can move. I felt the Lord move this past weekend at Spring Conference. Yeah. Uh, so. Question. All right, what's the question, baby? It's not really a question. It's like, who would win? Oh. Me. Batman or Iron Man? Batman. <laughs> Definitely me. <laughs> Batman would win. Uh, Batman. Batman or Iron Man? I like Iron Man better, so I feel like my prejudice is getting in the way. But Iron Man is so smart in the way that he fights. He's so. going to back it up. So. Okay, so the reason I say Batman is he has he has all these gadgets and stuff that can short circuit Iron Man's suit. Iron Man can, has way like more Iron gadgets. Man. And that's they're it. better. But that's not the point. Batman has stuff that can short circuit the suit causing him to malfunction. I feel like Iron Man has more of that. So here's the thing. So we talked about this because Cayman said Batman, but his his preference was nothing to do with technology because if you go to technology basis, I didn't, Tony Stark okay. has better tech. The only thing Batman has on Tony is Batman is the greatest detective in the DC universe hmm. and he is very deceptive. Yeah, that's true. So like I feel like he's got street sports too. Exactly, yeah. So here's what I would say. If it's like a if it's like a one on one type thing where they meet each other right here and they're going <laughs> at it duking it out, I think Iron Man would win. But if it was one of those things where they were like at war with each other hmm. and they had to like go find each other, I feel like Batman might have the upper hand. Because he would be able to set something up and then catch him out of nowhere. That's fair. Okay. John. Big fact. Thor or Hulk? <clears throat> Who? Thor or Hulk? Uh, mm. uh, ah, mm. uh, that one's hard. Thor, God of Thunder. Yeah, I would lean. I would have to say, I would have to say Thor. I would lean Thor. But I don't know. Yeah. He's so huge. Alright, let me ask y'all this. Who do y'all think is the uh, strongest um, Marvel character? As a physical thing. So we're going for like... Yes. Because see, there's plenty of Marvel it, it, characters it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, that... It, like physical strength. I guess. That aren't in the movies. Are you talking about the movies? Or are you talking about the comic books? The movies. The movies? Yeah. Like any, like any Marvel character from the movies. That they or Thanos. Thanos would be a baby yeah. outlet. Thanos. Okay, so if you so, so scientifically, there actually is a correct answer to this, and it's Ant Man. What? Because of uh, no. no, not because of that. Not because of that. So because of the amount of weight he can lift per square inch of his body. Yeah, and he when he gets to be a hundred feet tall, that's a lot more weight. And, Therefore, but I still feel like Thanos could defeat 100 foot Ant Man. He ain't 100 foot, but like big Ant Man. Okay. But it'd be 
makes sense. Like you're talking about like pure rocks. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you if if there is no infinity gauntlet, then like then yeah, Thanos would be out of it. Like in my opinion. I guess I guess technically I should have said Marvel Marvel hero instead of Marvel yeah, character. Yeah. Because I see where you're I coming. I, I see where I see exactly where you're coming th- coming from with the Infinity Gauntlet. So, and what you got another? You got a question for us? Hey, roll the window. Roll the window. Yeah. Oh, go, 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 hey, go, go. can you stop that for me? Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm I'm now uh, leaving the church. Um, headed back over to the school. Oh. Uh, very rowdy bunch tonight. <laughs> Very rowdy. Uh, just hyperactive, man. Like, just, I don't know. First off, it was cold. Uh, so, but I did end up um, showing some, like, two of the kid, two of the kids that come. I showed them and their mom <laughs> my YouTube channel. And they're like, why do you have a YouTube channel? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I do. And so it was, it was just, yeah. It, it, it's kind of, a, it's kind of one of those moments. It's like, wait, what? And me and one of the kids, uh, me and one of them, we, uh, we were talking. He's like, he's, he saw who I'm subscribed to. He's like, hey, I'm subscribed to more days too. I'm like, oh. Yes, somebody that finally understands. But I told him, I said, something I would love to do is, like, go over to uh, Colorado Springs where they're they're at and do a collab video with more Jays, too. I think that would be awesome. I'm going to, if I if I find some way and tag more Jays, too, in this, man, that would be so cool. Do it. Like they fly me out there to do a class, dude. That would be so lit, man. But yeah, so just, just the simple fact that you know, like, I mean, they're one of my favorite YouTubers, and then you have me, who's a small YouTuber. Uh, actually, I gained another subscriber tonight, ninety three. Whoop whoop. So, uh, I'm just, I, I'm waiting. It, it's a slow process. And I knew that I knew that going into it. It's gonna be a slow process of gaining subscribers and views and stuff like that. I don't care about that though. I mean I do, obviously. But just the just the simple fact that, you know, it's I man, it's cool. I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's cool. But uh also, um, I will say this, uh I, I am trying to use this as somewhat of a ministry platform in a sense. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. Um, so <laughs> sometimes I make those mistakes on camera. I don't care. I mean, like I said, not perfect. The Lord, however, is perfect. I know he's got me. I'm not worried about that. Um, but yeah, like... I'm just trying to use this as a uh, ministry platform, you know, just to kind of reach out. And there, I, there are Christian YouTubers who I'm subscribed to who would tell you the same thing. They're using YouTube as a ministry platform because, I mean, that's what they're doing, you know. I mean, yes, I was called into the ministry. I understand that. Also, um, you know, this is something fun that I can do that I can also, It's it's a way to to reach out to other people, you know, and like plant a seed, you know, plant the gospel. I mean, yeah, it may not seem like I'm doing it, but, you know, it's, it's, it's all about having, like, Christians, we, us Christians have fun, you know? And if you're a Christian, you know we like, we can have fun. <laughs> we can, you know, it's, we're, we're not restricted, but at the same time, you know, we're also, like, even though we like to have fun, sometimes it's, you know, it's different. Watch this. Oh, Christopher! Sorry, I had to do that. One of my friends was walking across the road. So, but, uh, yeah. So, like I said, not perfect. 
never going to be perfect. Never have, never have claimed to be perfect. Never will claim to be perfect. Um, oh, uh, so this weekend, most likely. Uh, so I've actually got to go home this weekend. My dad posted a post on or shared a post on Facebook saying that he did Ed, the son, whatever, for this amount, certain amount of shares, this certain amount of likes, this amount. Of, I'm like, shoot, man, let's do it anyways for the YouTube channel, you know? He's like, okay. So uh, I'm hoping this weekend we can do that. Uh, I think it'd be, <laughs> I think it'd be fun to do, uh, you know, considering that it's almost a week before I leave to go to Peru. By the way, guys, uh, I'm going to go on and give you all a heads up. So, Monday through Friday, actually, the whole trip, um, it's probably going to be a longer video, but I'm going to take it day by day, make it one video, um, you know, like of me leaving. Also, um, <laughs> this is my first time flying, my first time out of the country. Um, and then the Sunday I get down there, I'll be preaching for the first time ever. So I will be preaching uh, in a foreign country for my first time. So it's more, it's a quadruple whammy, and I'm about to hit this curb. But yeah, first time out of the country, first time preaching, first time flying. No, I said it wrong. It's first time flying, first time out of the country, first time preaching, first time preaching in a foreign country. Quadruple whammy. Am I excited? Yes. Am I nervous? Yes. Should I be worried? No. Why should I not be worried? Because I know the Holy Spirit's got me, and He's gonna He's gonna use me this through through spring break, and it's gonna be an awesome time. And I kind of wish that I could find a freaking parking space closer to the door, but I can't because you have people that are not nice. So, that being said, I'm going to turn. I don't want to hit the Mustang. Back up. Don't want to hit that car. Pull forward next to this Auburn fan. Ugh. I heard her say it roll tide. Guys, just so y'all know, I'm a Mississippi State fan. Hell State, go dogs. Whoop, whoop. Yes. County. And we're going to go back this way to see if we can find a closer parking spot. So, but, yeah, uh, so I'm hoping um, at some point after, uh, some point after spring break, a little bit later down the road, I'm going to order a camera. An actual camera, not phone camera. That way I can use my phone while filming if need be. Uh, pardon me if you heard that. If not, don't ask what it was. I'm not going to tell. Um, so, yeah. It's, uh, I'm going to get a camera, uh, SD card, you know, film with the camera, uh, transfer all my stuff via SD card. Uh, it's going to make things a lot simpler uh, without me having to plug in my phone to my computer via the charging cable. Just, yeah, it's, yeah, you know how it is. So, uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm going to do that. Um, guys, uh, I'm going to go and end this video here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. Tell your friends about my channel too, please. By all means, I don't care. Um, shout out to all the kids at Pineview Baptist Church. Love y'all. Y'all are a very rowdy bunch, but a great bunch. Cause I know there's some kids that watch my, my, my beds, my videos and like that. That just makes my heart melt. But, um, just, yeah, just, uh, uh, you know, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, if you're not subscribed, uh, click that subscribe button down below. Um, 
there's going to be two videos pop up. Go check those out. One's going to be one that YouTube recommends for you. The other one is going to be my most recent upload. And then also, uh, let's see, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below for, uh, you know, video suggestions. And who knows? I may choose your video suggestion. So that being said, uh, you know, do those things. Uh, stay in school. God loves you. I love you. Wolfman TV out.